game, did you deserve to win, do you think? No. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a tough question to answer. Like, um, really proud of our effort. Um, and we've got a bad beat. And that's what footy does here. It dishes up some of these results sometimes and asks a lot of questions about our resilience. resilience um, and, you know, we're going to have to get up from this. It was, it was, that was a bad beat. What do you mean by a bad beat? It well, like knocks said, the spirit out of them? No, well, no like you said, it was like you get beaten by a 50-metre 50, 50 kick um, on the boundary line after the siren, after leading all day. Like, um, you know, it's, that's, that's a big hit <laughs> to the players. They're, they're flat as. Um, but we'll get around them, pick them up and learn from it because there's some things we could have done a little bit better to avoid that situation. Just um, on the, the last few seconds, there's a few things to unravel there. First of all, what did you make of the downfield free kick? Did you think it was there? Well, from what I saw, Andy Brayshaw goes to smother um, and makes contact. And all I can talk about is Andy Brayshaw. Well, I'm not going to sit here and talk about the umpires. But if the same situation um, arose again, I'd ask Andy Brayshaw to put frontal pressure on and try and smother the ball. So that's, that's where I sit with it. Another aspect to it was some people are unsure whether it could have been taken from there because it went out on the full. Some people say it should have been taken back from the original spot. What's your like, view on that? It's still not really in my decision making. What's done is done. Like, the game's done. The result's done. Um, yeah, I think they did a pretty good job of getting the right the, the right player with the ball. But you know, I would have done. I would have been asking our players to do exactly the same thing in the same situation. So um, the result's done. It's in, it's in the book. We've just got to move on and take the lessons. Well, that was the third thing I was going to ask. Gibbons should have had the kick. Oh, well, every team would have tried to do the same thing, um, and they probably pulled one over the umpire's eyes. Like, mm -hmm. but that's all right. That's, that's footy. Um, we'll take it, cop it on, cop it on the chin and move on, get better. Do you feel hard done by it, though? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. how do you handle it with the players post-match <coughs> when they are, like, get shattered like they would be? Well, just, we'll get around them. They'll get around each other. Um, and then, like, all the time, we'll come in Monday and review it and try and take the lessons out of it. Um, and like I said before, footy throws these things up and asks, asks a lot of questions of a lot of young players and it's how you ride the bumps and ride the highs and, um, you know, our success is never going to be linear. <laughs> like, it's, we're going to take some... It's going to be ups and downs and, you know, tonight was, it was a tough loss, but we'll take it and learn from it and next time we're in that situation, we'll be better. Does it, did the five-day break <coughs> get you a bit, Justin? They look like they played with more energy around the contest after quarter time. Yeah, yeah, I thought um, thought the second quarter was OK. I thought the third quarter they outworked us. Um, and a, a little bit it was on us. Like I thought we um, lacked some composure with the footy. We weren't able to find a mark. Uh, we got caught into their turnover to turnover game and they worked harder in that period of the game. And we were pretty lucky to only concede what we conceded on the scoreboard. Um, and I thought we could have handled that a lot better. Um, and I thought we created some opportunities and we just lacked that. We lacked composure um, at, at crucial times. Um, yeah, whether that's a five-day break or just another lapse in momentum, which we've encountered this year, we'll have to work through. But the last quarter, I thought, we played we played in good shape, played with good composure, um, and we executed pretty well. Um, yeah, it took a you know, goal on, on the siren 50 metres out to beat us, so... Um, yeah... We'll, we'll review it. But I don't think the five-day break had too much of an issue. Did you you left five forward for a long time when they were surging in the third quarter, <clears throat> um, just trying to give the young players the responsibility of dealing with that. Well, well, yeah, yeah, and um, we got a few things wrong in the third, which I'd like back. Um, but yeah, f we we decided to put five um, more on ball in the last. Clearly had an impact. Um, yeah, I, well, I thought he had an impact forward as well, so um, I thought he had an impact forward all, all day and he probably just had one of those games where it was a, it was a nearly game for him down forward and um, you know, I'm loving the way he's applying himself down forward and we created <clears throat> enough opportunities for our forwards, so 42 inside 50s. Um, 
yeah, so whether he would have helped us on ball or not, in the last quarter, probably he clearly he did. So could have done that a little bit earlier, but I um, thought he was still having an impact on the game. You seem to have it on your terms a, a lot through the first quarter, the, the field position, the possession. What were you thinking, I guess, when you weren't able to get that scoreboard ascendancy to probably reward yourselves as much as you could have? Yeah, it's a tough one. I, in those conditions, I thought, I thought we actually got a bit of scoreboard ascendancy and um, for the conditions, and um, we actually got some reward for effort. Um, yeah, it was probably just after after quarter time, in those conditions where it's slippery, like the guilt edge opportunities that you create that you have to create for yourself, and you know whether it's a contest win or a you know clean take or you know just to hit those handballs and the execution like a bit cleaner, we could have created some more opportunities for ourselves, um, and that's something we need to get better at. I think. Even though we've played well the last couple of weeks, we haven't hit the scoreboard as much as we probably should and cashed in on our dominance around the ball. So we'll continue to work on that. Like it's, it's going to take a bit of time to um, you know, really maximise, but we're working on it hard during the week and we'll see the benefits sooner or later. Did you get out of it clear injury-wise and do you look to make some changes for, for Sydney next week? Or? Uh, well, we'll have to review it. Um, you know, some guys in, there's some guys in the reserves pressing for selection, so we'll, we'll always have a look at that. Um, yeah, but at, I think at, we're, we're pretty good with injuries. Yeah, we got, we got through pretty well, so that's a bonus.